G'day everybody, this is Starlord from Wombat Gaming and welcome back to our chapter 3 um, of our walkthrough of Bannerlord. Um, yeah, we're today uh, we're going to be continuing on with um, our quest. We um, have to rescue our family. Uh, so we did complete the main obstacle in that, which was a quest that we needed to do, which was establish your clan. So without completing this particular quest, we couldn't uh, go ahead and rescue our family uh, and bring them into our family as we need a clan in order to have companions and everything. So this is our clan profile here and parties and etc uh, etc et so now that we've got this established um we can go ahead and do it so essentially what we need to do is just zoom in we'll just go over to this city and we should be able to trigger the event in the city uh one thing to note our party size is now 50 which is uh the first thing you get when you do establish a clan your troop that you can hold goes up considerably so uh, that's quite good um, yeah so we've got a few looters forgot about those we've got seven so um, let's make our way over there's um hang on we've got some looters here let's see if we can get them before they run away yeah. oh, someone beat us to it um, very, we're just gonna send in the troops I don't think we're going to get much from this. We we're a little bit behind. No, we got nothing. We got one gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Good to see you. Believe it or not, I mean that. I've been looking for you. You escaped. Where's my brother? What's happened? This is uh, Ragnos, by the way. This has triggered the event for us to find our family and and rescue them. Calm down now. I'll tell you everything. Sure you will. found your little brother and sister, but my former partner betrayed me. We came into his camp to negotiate the kid's release, and he seized us right then and there. Hmm, well, you are criminals. What scum, eh? Even in this profession, double-crossing your comrades is frowned upon. I escaped. One of his men, a little guiltier than the rest, cut my bonds when the others were sleeping. But I can't let a traitor live, so I decided to find you and offer you a deal. All right. I know where he is now. If you agree, we can attack together and save your kin. Well, we ain't got no choice, but by looks. in return, I will have the pleasure of killing that bastard. So what do you say? Ah, uh, how can we possibly trust each other? Ah, you can't trust me, but you need me. And I figure you have enough men that you could easily slit my throat pretty quickly if I lead you into a trap. And I don't need to trust you. You're my vehicle of revenge, not my partner. I can live with that. Let's go. Splendid. But I have a few things to do. There is a hideout near this city. He keeps your siblings there. I will join you right where the path leads up, just out of the sight of their scouts. Okay, I'll see you there, but remember, if this is a trap or something, that will be that will cost you your life. Oh, of course. I have no doubts on that score. Alright, well, um doesn't jump straight into it, which is good. So we have a, an opportunity to get some troops because um we can essentially uh work on that. So as I said, we've got a new party size. We are looking to upgrade them all to this footman. Um, we're going to do some more slave tra you know, trading with bandits and stuff, so it's ideal for that. They just knock them out, not kill them. So, recruit, tribesmen, footmen, recruit, tribesmen, and footmen. So, we have a better opportunity here. So, we can get recruits, they're super cheap. We need tribesmen, but not soldiers. So we'll take all of them. We're at 40 now. Um, I don't believe we have anything to sell. Just check. Oh, we do have some stuff we can sell. Okay. Um, I 
that's a little bit we get a little bit of gold back um we don't have enough horses now so we have 40 plus um so how much are the horses here saddle horses they are not riding 10 so they're no good and these guys are 300 that's terrible so we will buy horses but we won't buy them here um we're almost at full capacity we have a new quest obviously so uh, we still have to deliver recruits this guy but we're not actually getting any i failed this request this quest twice i'm not sure why it doesn't seem to want to uh, every time i attack banners there's no opportunity to, for them to surrender so i'm not sure we've got 28 days though so we'll see what happens um so rescue your family is the main quest that we're on today we do have the opportunity the hideout shouldn't be too far there it is there as soon as you move you can see it's here but we're going to um see if we can get a few more troops first and maybe look at getting some horses somewhere as well i don't think these guys are going to have any ho no horses how's their grain grain's looking good we do we'll have troops though okay, grab him all right we're at full capacity and where can we get horses down here let's see how cheap they are gold's not too bad our dinars is at 5500 we are losing about 200 a day for wages and um he's got five all oh, this they're expensive too it's a bit of an annoyance um we do need we've got 50 troops now so we need 17 more horses essentially So we don't necessarily need to get our sources right now. So let's go around here and um, we'll attack the hideout. Now sometimes this is a bit glitchy. You can see uh, it's just down in here, it's hiding behind the hill. So there it is there. So. Ragnar should be You've here. You've finally arrived. I have a few things to say before we attack. We have to be clever. He is a cunning fellow in a low and base kind of way. I defeated you before. I know how your gang operates. Less talking, more riding. Come on. That you did. That you did. Lead on then. All right, we'll just um, wait for nightfall to attack. And... Got a decent amount of troops, but I think it's gonna only let us take the top ten. Yep, so we're gonna take obviously um well myself, uh Ragnos has to come with us, they're locked in, and we're gonna take the footmen, all eight of them. So they're the highest ones we've got. So let's go in. Alright, um uh, yeah, it's um gonna be too hard they all stick together yep we do have a tendency to wander off some of them we want to keep them all together strength in numbers this guy is a bit slow back there all right hang on see they're all going the wrong way again get them to follow me I'll head up this way Now, this guy down here just wants to go his own way. Let's go back this way. Come on, you guys. Mm. 
one guy. Guy way down there. I'm gonna lose him. Right? Missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, maybe I'm missing Raganos himself, but anyway. Oh, that, here it comes. Here comes one. Alright, let's get charging again. Yeah, it was Raganos. wants to do his own thing. let them do all the work. It's going to injure someone and start swinging in there. Okay, I think this uh, last couple coming up. He led us here. Where are my brothers and sister, my sister? Nah, there's no more talking. Kill me or I'll kill you. That's how this ends. It's fine with me. I'll do you the honor of dueling you, and my men will stand down if you win. Mm, I have no honor. Not with you anyway. I don't jewel slavers. Man, attack. I'll let them just finish him off. Yeah. Oh, I lost a bit. Really? I've been blessed, all right. We did lose. Yeah. Oh, oh no, he didn't. He was just injured, thankfully. So got some more uh, renown, 2.5. Okay, so we got some captives too. We got 12, which is awesome. I'm gonna take all of them. And we've got some gear, another horse, which we can't ride just yet. Its riding level is 35. So, but makes we got two of them now. So we can hang on to that for later. And just some stuff that we can sell. Um, one thing I've noticed, these values along the side do change. I'm going to pick up these mit male mittens. They uh, were, well, I said 3,000 something, I think, if I recall. When I went to try and sell them, I was only off being offered six or 700. So it depends on where you're selling them, I guess. But anyway, we're going to take all this loot. Look, we can still talk. I'll give you a pouch of silver. Well, a pouch of silver. I think I just took all your loot, but uh, you said talking was a waste of time. You are a Raganos's property now. Oh, he's going to kill him. He is going to go through and execute him. We... I knew you'd come. Great Evan. Don't see any of the gory bits. Stop you. I love you, brother. All right. My brother loves me. Okay, Andros, I knew you'd come. Great heaven, damn brother. Nothing can stop you. I love you, brother. A oh, lot of love there. So glad to see you. are safe. Is everyone okay? Yes, we are all fine. The little ones are scared, but fine. We need to be quick and get the hell out of this place. I'll take them to the nearest fortress immediately. They will be safe there. Meet me there later, when you're ready to tell me everything. Okay, well, that is essentially as you leave the hut, it recognize comes to you and asks to talk. Well, looks like we've gotten your kin back to you. So my end of our deal is complete. I'll be making myself scarce now. Okay. Don't let your conscience bother you about letting me go, by the way. I won't get back into slaving. Burn too many bridges with my old colleagues, you might say. I'll find some other way to earn my keep. Mercenary work, perhaps. Anyway, maybe our paths will cross again. 
Hmm, I have two options here. Uh, maybe goodbye, be merciful, or your men killed my parents. Did you really think you would not be punished? Mm hmm okay, um... Part of me wants to, but uh, this guy's a pretty good character, and maybe I'll run into him later down the road, so... Well, let him go, and see what happens. Okay, so, um, we have completed that quest, which is great. Um, uh, we now have a family tree happening here, you can see, um... They're in holding because they're not of age yet, so they will eventually become of age and we can level up these skills. So we have two, Aaliyah and Patheos, Patheo, I have no idea how to pronounce that, Patheos, but anyway, you know what I mean. Anyway, so there you go, so um, we are able to level up something in here, which is good, our charm. All right. Uh, bottom one, we're going to skip through. This is 30% more likely to have children. I mean, handy if you've got a wife, I guess. At this stage, uh, gain a plus five influence by running a tournament, which is kind of good. We're going to be doing tournaments as much as we can. We have to win the tournament. That's the catch. So, um, so maybe that might, I don't know, maybe later on anyway. These all stack later. So I'm thinking... What's the bottom one? Gain one plus morale while being besieged in the settlement. And this one is the bottom one is 10% chance to get one relation with a random notable in governed settlement per day while continuous projects are active. Actually, I don't mind that. I mean, this one here, the gain five plus influence by winning tournaments. If I gonna like do a lot of tournaments, that could be really handy. Um, but uh, this one and children are important. So I'm gonna go with the children one. I'm gonna build my family empire I think and allow other people to win tournaments for me So that's the way I'm gonna go. I haven't done that one before I usually go the other route. So all right um, So now our brother is if you have a look we'll go back to the we got some oh, where am I? My clan if you click on He's in this city here so uh, Asaya, uh, so show the Hebrew's location on the map. It's right near where we are anyway, so we can just go and get him if we want to, which, you know, we'll see if we can. And actually, let's go to Tavern District. There we go. We'll take Hero into party. Not sure if that uh, upsets the flow with the children at all, but he's a good fighter. So he should be in our party. I'm not going to sell the prisoners yet. They're not worth the gold they're giving. And there's nothing... Oh, we don't want to go back into the tavern, so... There's a mistake there. No one... No companions. Um, we've got an option to go to the keep. It's usually just to meet some people. you got to pay to get in, so we're not going to do that as yet. And we need more horses, so let's make our way over. Actually, I didn't check the cost of horses. Sometimes it does change. Let's check. No, they're we're really expensive now. 300. Oh, we didn't sell our goods, actually. We got some stuff we need to sell. Um, let's get rid of the spear. Everything else I want to kind of hang on to. Probably I did get rid of an axe just then, but oh well. Um, do they have a cheap bow? I think I'm going to have to go up to Batania to get a bow. Um, just a bit annoying. I don't I have a shield. I got rid of my shield. How much gold have I got? Let's get a cheap shield, I guess. Hard shield.
Okay. Let's head on back through this way, looking for horses. Oh, is there any tournaments, actually? Actually, I'm just gonna... We'll have to have a look at our brother, actually. Um, go into the skill section. We have this set up for him. Uh, let's check at the Swift. So, we haven't got anything to do with her. And then we have our brother. So he has a lot of unassigned points, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is to... I'm not going to go through everyone right now. I am going to pause the game. And put, we'll pause this recording. Set him up. And you guys can look at what way you'd like to set him up. Um, I'm going to set him up. Put I've got extra... You can see here attribute points 14 and I've got 25 fo free focal points. I'm going to be using, obviously he's very strong already in combat and I'm going to have a look at uh, some other things like maybe medicine having him in my party as a healer so this sort of stuff might come in handy so I will be back in a minute and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we have used up all our free attribute points and focus points on our brother. And yeah, uh, look, as I said, this is really personal and depends on how you want to go. But I've, I've focused on a couple of area areas. He's already very strong in his combat skills. I gave some extra points to Bo and um, yeah, leadership. So... Also, uh, trade, uh, so we can, uh, actually I haven't added the trade things in yet. So, party, okay, press party leader, 15 increase selling price. So, uh, party, okay, that's party. 15 decrease in sell price penalty. Trade goods for equipment. So trade goods or equipment. Um, okay, so interesting. So I'm mean, gonna be trading goods or equipment. I think goods probably. So I'm gonna go goods. Caravan master. More likely, I take a caravan. Okay, every caravan in a town generates 20 gold income. Every village apart entering your town generates 30 gold income. Hmm. Yeah, that one. So it's either a workshop or caravan, gives you one plus renown. I think we're going to go the caravan this time. And we want him to have children, so... Go battles. Uh, this one is, uh, yeah, opposite gender, increased relationship game. Most of the castles and keeps and stuff are, are ruled by men, unfortunately, in this game. So, uh, women are not as prevalent. So, we're going to go the same gender. Alright, so, yeah, so, there we go. Um, Okay, well, guys, yep, so our brother is set up, and like I said, personal choices is up to you. And yeah, there's a lot of different guides out there on how to set these up, so it takes a while, so just go with what you feel is right. We, uh, what is our party size at the moment now that we've fucked our brother? So he's 50, so we've got, um, we've got a companion, we've got our brother. 
Yeah, we can go and make some money now. So we can essentially, we need horses. And we're looking for bandits. So let's have a look where we are on the map at the moment. We want to work our way around this way, back up this way, I think. So we will... Definitely need horses and any quests that involve prisoners. Um, okay, the horses like here, 250. Not expensive. Alright, uh, we've got a notification over here. Pathos has reached the age of 12 and needs some guidance. Okay, so this is in the part that we set up our character as well. So we have to uh, set up some things for him to do. So let's have a look. Uh, his strength, so that's going to be horse riding, bowmanship, fighting, his endurance, similar attributes. Thirst for knowledge, so engineering, horse riding, bow, sharp mind, it's engineering, plus two social, I think, i um, be good to have him as a future governor or something, so we're going to take an interest in people, um, tactics are quite handy, Although stewardship is good as well, so managing logistics, leadership, let's really inspire people. I think I'm mm, not sure which one stewardship or leadership. Go Stuart. Okay, that little bit. Alright. Okay, let's leave here. Um, let's head over to this city, see if they've got any horses. Gang needs recruits, we're still working on that one. Uh, okay, um, trade. 230, they're a little bit cheaper. We've got enough horses, so we need 15 horses. Yeah, I think that's gonna cost us quite a bit of gold, but it's gonna enable us to move faster, so we're just gonna leave and we're gonna do that. Okay. Now we need to find some bandits and some good quests that we can do. We can catch bandits now, it's great. We're just harmless travelers. Alright, we greatly outnumber them. We're not gonna go through the whole action scene. One survivor out of four. One thing I didn't do was my brother. He's quite a good no, oh, he's got a see he's got a spike, so. Um, I really want him to have the mace at the moment. It's a blunt instrument, so we really need another one for our lady companion as well. Because he's probably just killing too many people with his abilities. There's some looters. Oh, 
We got no quarrel with you. But I have with one with you, Brigand. Give up now. I'll take us alive. See, yeah, I can't seem to. Send the troops. Five prisoners. And we've got some goods to trade. I think we may fail that quest again. Anyway. Um, Alright, we're trying to get these all to footmen. Upgrading them to footmen. And we need to get our gold sorted very quickly as we are using quite a bit of gold a day. A looter's hideout would be handy. There's some bandits, we'll get those guys. So someone else is chasing them as well. He's given up. We outnumber them considerably again. I'm just going to send the troops in. Getting close to our prisoner capacity. Um, we have quite a bit of loot here, which is good. We can give her a blunt weapon. Down. I need to sell. There's an nearest city over this way. Need to get rid of these prisoners. Shame we're only getting 500 for them, but I need to get rid of them. We're full again. And we need to offload some of this stuff. I'm gonna keep that spiked club for my brother. Okay, 800. I'll get us somewhere at least. Got a quest in this town. Let's see what's over here. It's manual laborers. This is going to be a prisoner one, I'm hoping. Hey, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Yeah, peace to you. My name is Andros. May I ask your name? I am Thrill and I speak for the people of this village. Um, heard you need a, you have a problem. Uh, basically, they have two workers that were crushed to death and they now need some prisoners to help work in the mines because no one else will. So they want criminals, I'd say, and bandits. So they need at least 12. So we're going to go and... Except this one, this is the one we were looking for before. Uh, sometimes that happens, unfortunately, as soon as I sell my prisoners, we get this some. So we have 
19 days. Not a lot of time to complete this, so we desperately need to find some looters in that time. Let's over here. You got a problem? We do. We, looks like we didn't get much at all because another army helped us, which is annoying. There's 12 losers over here. Let's get these guys. Yeah? What do you. Okay, we picked up six, which is good. And we picked up a bunch of loot. And we still have 17 days, which is great. We're a little bit weighed down now. Let's wait till this little symbol disappears. We have got prisoners in tow. There's some looters here. Oh. You best back off. Hopefully we beat that army to it. No, we didn't. Damn it. Didn't get any prisoners. Gotta watch it when other armies are around, it's so annoying. Some here. Back off, stranger. Send the troops in. Hopefully, we'll get a decent amount here. We've got another six, which is great. We're up to 12. Some more loot. And therefore, we we got the 12 we need. So we can't. We've got 16 days still, though. So we can give you more. And how much forces are over here? Oh, there's some more looters. Considerably cheaper. It's always the way, isn't it? We don't need horses at the moment. And we do need grain, though. And buy all that grain. Buy all that food as well. And get rid of some of this stuff. I'm gonna keep the pickaxe. Okay, got a small profit. Got some some looters up here. Mess with us, and we'll sell our lives dearly. I'm sure you will. Don't care, brigand. Surrender or die. All right, don't take us alive. All right, let's see, you're right. I will take you alive. At least some of you, I hope. Two of you. Okay. Um, let's have a look. We're not getting as many. Losers as I'd like, we're killing too many, so could be an issue with someone in my party. So we're just going to have a look at. Oops, wrong one. We're going to take the sword off of her. Just leave her with a blunt instrument. He's got a blunt instrument as well, so hopefully that will fix the issue. Troops. We only have the one type. They all should be blunt instruments. So let's try this again. 
Oh, we didn't actually see what this um, quest was. Deliver a herd. Alright, we don't want to do that just yet, so... Looters. A looter's hideout would have been perfect. Alright, we've got another notification. So Aaliyah has turned 16. She's almost ready to be old enough to serve in our family so what are we what are we going to need her to do i think that's the good thing so she has at the moment high medicine and engineering tactics and scouting so not level or charm up i think So they're nearly been able to help out. How are we going for... Oop, there's more bandits. Let's get these guys first. Best case scenario, we need all ten. Surrender or die. You'll never take us alive. Well, I'm hoping to take some of you, if not all of you. We ended up with three. Okay. Better nothing, we're up to 14. Got another good horse, but riding level still not there. Let's actually hang on, what do we got here? What's the quest date? Still 13 days. Bel Sarif, which is down this way, so we head back down this way again. Another footman, actually. So, I'll take a tribesman. Jump over the mountain. Can fifteen of these two tribesmen? Better watch our money, though. Um, oh, we are negative. Okay, we're going to have to
we sold what upgraded and sold too much stuff then so we're in negative we don't want to lose troops so let's get offload these guys it's been a while it has been a while how about the task you gave me i brought you a few good men sure so we're going to give him 17 of these guys i'll say we're still working on it because we do have a bit of time and we need to clean out some of this we need gold now give us a bit of gold back and we still have 10 days and we're only making 900 so which is a bit frustrating he they normally pay a lot more for prisoners 10 times something but this guy's not paying that for some reason he's just paying a good rate so Ten days. There's some minutes. Hang on. Oh, it's, we've got lots of banners right here, actually. It's... Catch up with them. They'll sell their size dearly. I don't care. Bring in Surrender or Die. Suitably outnumber them. Four more prisoners. Bit of loot. And there is a hideout here, which is really good. I've just missed. So we're going to attack this hideout. And hopefully, get some great skill, get some great loot, and get a bunch of more survival. Um, let's just attack. I leveled up guys that'd be pretty good really probably should have left oh that doesn't really matter my brother behind but okay. <laughs> yeah. now we're gonna run off it again the wrong direction Should be the last lot of guys. So 
some reason we are killing a lot of our prisoners, which is a bit of a shame, even though we're only using blunt instruments. Poor guy didn't even get a chance to set up, I don't think. Okay. Alright, well, um, wants to settle this one on one, but I don't fight jewels. It's so much easier at this stage when I'm not leveled up to just send in the troops. Alright, here we go. Three point nine renown. Look at that, nineteen prisoners. Love it. We hit the jackpot then, and hopefully we got a cracking amount of stuff here, which is good. Take all that. That was well worth it. So we now on our quest have eight days. Let's head back up to yeah, that's El Sharif. Bir Sarif. And maybe you might get lucky some bandits on the way. Hang on. Oh. Oh, what have I done? That's only two. We have a bit of time, so... Eight days. want them to give up all right look finally we got um, some people to draft <laughs> but um, so we'll take them we only got two that's the downside so that quest that we're trying to complete here and need recruits we only got seven days and we need six more we've only got two so it's not looking good for us unfortunately It's been a while. It has been a more while. Got okay, a task. We have a few more good men for him. We have 23. Let's see what we can get from this. I think we're going to just... Um, we'll see what... How long have we got? We have six days. We're at 6,000. See that, that bandit hideout gave us quite a good taking. So we still have six days. So... Just make sure we stay around the area so we don't run off too far. The bandit hideout would be perfect to be honest. We're getting low on gold. We might have to finish that task off just to get that money. Have I spoken to tell us yet? It's got a question mark. It's been a while. It has been a while. We ha um, have spoken to him already, so we don't want to talk to him at the moment. Let's just finish this quest off. It's been a while. All right, about the task. Uh, 
We set it up. And we 6,000. Cool. Okay, so we what good reward there. We can head back down this way now. Let's go to the city, see if there's any jewels or anything. Actually, how much are horses here? No, too expensive. Oh, we're grain. We need grain. Got a bigger army now, so have, we're chewing through the grain here. So you can see down here, we have 11, a bit over, but we're uh, 2.5 a day we're using. So no food in five days, and days can tick over pretty quickly. So make sure we might get some more grain down in here as well. Sell some of the goods that we've got. Check the tavern. Go to your, uh, what have we got in it? We've got, um, overpriced raw materials, gang needs recruits. We're having a lot of problem with this gang recruits one we've got already. We can't do two at the same time. And so we could go to the arena and see what's going on there. It's... So we didn't want to... Fight's already started. Well, we wanted to be in a tournament, so we can't do that. It's already started, so... Let's go to the Tavern District. We've got... This guy, Edwin Cow Thief. Okay, well, let's see what he's... Like, he's a hero. And he's alive, obviously, and he's male. So, Edwin is a wanderer as well. So, Edwin the Cow Thief has... Okay, fairly decent riding skills. Polman. Throwing. Stewardship is average. So he's not a bad in a fight. Got a bit of gold. Maybe we could speak to him Peace to you, and recruit stranger. him. Though, if you come any closer, I may stick a knife in your belly, as one cannot be too careful these days. Okay, well, uh, my name is Andros, sir. Tell me about yourself. Uh, my story is the tale in a nutshell. Men's greed for cattle cost me my home and my kin. Okay. Well, it's long-winded, I'm going to skip through, and... It's going to cost me 428 to recruit, so we can get him to do some stuff for us, if we get any tasks. Okay. I'm going to get rid of some of the goods we've got. Gonna keep that for my brother, I think. Uh, what's he got? Hmm. All right, let's sell some of this stuff. I think. Okay. It's uh, 1800. We need some grain. We have a couple of companions we can use to send off on other tasks, so um, 
We just need to find one, I guess. Let's quickly zip past some of these. This town over here, it's got a quest. Can we get some looters? Let's... Get these looters. We overpower them. Let's send the troops in. Four prisoners. Get the loot. Alright, let's head back down to this one. I might go up to the city next and see what's going on there. Alright, we have... Landlady needs to access uh, something, something, so let's talk to him. Hey, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. So my name is Andros, sir. Uh, may I ask your name? He's Mad One, and he speaks for the village. I know your name. And from what I say about you, I say that you're many a grieving widow knows too, but that is no concern of mine. I've heard you have a problem I can help you with. I have a bit of a dispute with Abgahan. Abgahan. I recently purchased the Rotted Grace cattle nearby in the pastures and land on it, but some of the herders are making problems. Um, they claim that they don't have the right, I don't have the right to graze there and that the village land can't be bought and sold like that. But look, I spent my silver, I want, won't get it back. Meanwhile, I can't afford to wait, I need someone to ride along with my herdsmen and cattle, can, so my cattle can graze. Uh, one way or the other, even if it means violence, I can't let thy herd just starve. True. Okay, um, so he reckons a companion with eight men. Gonna pay me 447. Alright, I'll get one of my, um... I'll get my newest guy, Edwin, to go. Um, hang on, let's have a look. One or two loss. Maybe, okay, don't have any men available. Um, no risk of loss with my brother. Check with the swift one or two loss, so... Hmm. I could send my brother. Um, oh, look, I'll send Edwin. He needs eight. I'll give him... Oh, these guys. I don't even know I end up with these guys. Okay, um, and... Okay, I'm gonna make a small profit if he comes back alive. Alright, so our party size is now a little less. Set them to return in seven days, and we need to up our numbers a little bit. Okay. Let's head over this way. Go to the keep. Hmm. Got another quest up here that we could probably send my brother on, possibly. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Uh, I am Enros, and who are you? I am Kilam. I am a craftsman, a working man. A lot of the honest people get me to speak for them, essentially. I am someone with a reputation that knows nothing in this world is as valuable as your weight of your word. Speak truthfully with me and I shall do the same with you. 
Fair enough. I can get a caravan from him if I want, but I don't have the gold for that just yet. I think they're, you know, about 15,000. Alright, so, but he has a problem, so... You might say that I worked from dawn to late night, and even then I barely read on the table. Why is that? Because I can't sell my product at a fair price. The law says I can only sell to local merchants and at a fixed rate. So even when my prices are high, I'm still make, making the same amount of money. All right, how can I help? You can deliver 11 loads of wool to my contact in the con contact Sir the Goat, who <laughs> you can find in Askar. That would help me survive for some time. The merchants of that town would be furious and lodge legal complaints, of course, but hopefully you won't have to deal with that part. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, I can send a companion with five men. I, uh, four days to complete, six days to complete. Check the swift. I'll send check the swift with four men. Okay, we've got a couple of things happening now. We can go and see what's going on with the quest. I see I need to pay a bribe and not sure I'm ready to do that just yet. Tekvin District. All right, who's this guy? Donnick Deadeye. Let's have a see who this guy is. Heroes. He has good fighting skills and a little bit of leadership might be handy so let's have a chat to him peace to you stranger what is your name i am andros so uh, let's skip the pleasantries and get right to business i could use someone like you in my company 581 okay got him as well anything happening in the arena join the tolerant it's four lords all right so, just having a look through here. So my brother's in here with me. We've got Dominic as well. So we've got a good chance of winning this one. Um, so we'll skip these rounds. And then, so did my brother? My brother got through. But Dominic. Dominic the dead eye didn't so okay so my brother's looking pretty good got a decent horse here for s I'll, I'll knock this guy off Three spears, that was easy. Okay. Skipped around. My brother got through again, which is good. Nice try. There we go. Right, three spears down. All right, so it's um essentially my brother on that side and me. So I, I don't I don't want I can take out. I could just stand back and let them kill me. That would give them an advantage. So just kill me. Really. Come and kill me. Come on. Oh my god, seriously, I'm right here. I've got a spear sticking out of my guttic. Just kill me for god's sake. Oh my god, this guy's... <coughs> just kill him. That's my brother. You loser, seriously. Yeah. Oh 
have to win this myself, I think. I'd rather not do a regular job. Actually, killed that guy. I think it's gonna be the two of us now. So it's just, it's just me, me, uh, and my brother didn't get through, so I had to take on this guy, I guess. tournament. Alright, got some renowned and picked up a horse. So what's the horse worth? Let's have a look. Worth 14,000. That is one hell of a horse. So I need riding 90. I don't have that at the moment. So I'm going to just sell that horse and get that money. Get rid of some of this other stuff. What's this like? It's a bit different. So that was extremely well worth it. We'd be better, could have probably put some better armor on my brother. So next time I get some stuff. So we're up to 20k, which is really good. Um, we could probably get a caravan maybe going. Um, we do have some Ludus. We do have Dominic. Are we leveling up over here at all? We've got a focus point. Okay, so. Throwing something I've been doing a lot of. I'm gonna pop that into there. Could probably get a caravan going too. Possibly. Well, we're a bit over an hour and we're kind of building some money. We have our family working along. We're about to enter this city. But maybe we'll, we'll, we'll call it the episode 3 here. And we will come back and do episode 4 from here. And just see what this city has to offer. And maybe get a caravan rolling. And yeah. So guys look forward to seeing you in the next video. Episode 4. Uh, Look, any comments, anything that you would have done differently, please let me know. Um, the tournament was well worth it, as you can see. Picked up uh, quite a bit of uh, money out of that one. Please subscribe and like the video if you if you are enjoying this. Uh, having subscribers really helps, and having the video liked, you know, helps me as well. Uh, all those YouTube algorithms, as such. So once again, this is Star Lord. Appreciate you being with me, and I will see you on the next video.